this is a video just on how we set up the technicians vans for Novafit the techs have a, a full range of spare parts this is another van we've just set up for a, a new technician we're putting on um, and just laid out all the tubs so these tubs are individual parts in each of these tubs here this first one is like for upcoming jobs so he'll put in jobs for, that he has for the day so if they're either employee technicians or contractor technicians parts that they would either pick up from the warehouse or that they would have sent to them they can then put into this tub and they're going to do that the next one or two or three days type of thing uh, that one's like nautilus the start of a nautilus tub adx 88 you got various pulleys in there for all different brand names uh, this is concept 2 uh, rower for chain and also um, ski erg uh, cords and ropes we got flex stuff there we got uh, what bike stuff there we got pre-core stuff there your power adapters and then various tubs here with bearings uh, pop pins selector pins in there uh, various tools and parts over here a couple more pop pins different things um, uh, reformer wheels whatnot there spare gloves a couple more trays we're going to put in here he's got a couple of specialty tools and uh, monitors in these cabinets here as well rags that he's got there um, some longer gas struts that longer thing there is a gas strut uh, for a machine so he's left it there keep it out of the way uh, this here is the tool box or tool bag that the guys carry around that we would normally get this is like a it usually comes in a Stanley brand name or also a this DeWalt brand name but you can just have all your tools in there uh, you can add your extra parts in the top there that you need for the for the day for when you go into the club you can um, put tools in there and then you've got the carry handle here where you can just wheel it around like a carry-on luggage thing uh, and walk into the club so that's the general tool bag with all the general tools and then having your van set up like this it creates a walkway for you and everything's sectioned aside um, so let me just go around the back here and open up the back And then that's the angle from the back there so you still got that walkway up here and then around to the side uh, we got the the step platform which is a ladder slash platform which will be a work bench or work table or to do things up high to change pulleys on um, up high on um, like five station gyms and whatnot and then dolly if you need to move machines or whatnot these need to be strapped in but you'd normally strap them in um, we'll have a, a, a ratchet strap or bungee cord to hold them in place which we'll have set up most of our vans have vices in them so this is a fold out vice that'll fold down and then you can do any any work you need to add in the van here which you need to undo something that's quite tight you can bring it out to the van and hook it in the vice vacuum cleaner vacuums have a reverse function they've got the normal vacuum function and then the extra hose on the back which is for blowing out the air as well so we'd normally vacuum out the the dirt and dust underneath in the treadmill hood covers and then we'd also blow it out after that with the hose on the back end of it here which will then get the excess dust out as well um, a few extra spots here we can add some stuff in some cans and whatnot going here but uh, yeah just with this walkway let me just show you from the side here is that these are all strapped down so they're not going to go anywhere and then these ones are strapped down as well and then it's modular so you can take them out or stack them up if you need to take a bike or a machine so in this case I can actually crawl in here and climb in to this um, van here and then we can um, walk down through the back and just walk through the whole thing and it's easy to get parts out so with this van we've just set this van up these are special tubs that we've got um, in that we have in Sydney but what we do with these is once we work out the configuration you want them in with these um, square bits here we just cut like two of these cut this angle out here all this plastic out within here um, on the the bottom row ones so then you can reach in there and get out what's in there uh, without having to unpack it so you can do that from the short side of the the crate or from the wide side of the crate depending on if you if it's the crate that's in the middle or it's the crate that's on the side you can um, we'll cut out the the plastic surround here uh, with this one the straps in the way a bit but you might angle the, or put the strap on a different location this one you can undo these two levels here if you just cut that out with a um, hacksaw blade or a, a cutting wheel on a grinder 
and that'll just cut out and that'll that'll create a big window for you to go in there and get what's in there if you've got extra ones stacked on top and then you're just leaving this solid bar at the top here and then you leave this bottom section here uh, leave that one there as well and things uh, stay in there so this one's actually too high but you could go three high if you need to which some of the other techs are going three high uh, we just set up Lenny's fan like this as well our Newcastle tech and um, he's got three high here as well and then we'll, we'll cut holes in the side of these so he can just walk along here and then access whatever tub he needs to or the top one you can just access from the top um, of these tubs as well so I just thought I'd make a video on that just how to set this set these vans up so they are a lot more efficient for the guys to use and then we find the techs are more, more willing to go out to the van and go and find a part if we have the van set up like this where they can just walk through and get what they need and every brand name is in one particular tub the brand names for your particular area that you might have more parts for you use these bigger crates for and then other brands which you may not have so many in your state or your area you can have in these smaller tubs or then even some other brands which you have very very little parts for or some minor parts you can uh, put on your shelves here so there's a couple more crates we need to a couple more shelving things we need to put in down here to set this guy up but we'll do that probably even over time as he gets more and more parts locally like bearings and whatnot I gas struts um, we can add them in and add, add labels to them uh, we've got some label makers so we can label these brand names ADX 88 uh, pulleys power adapters and then these ones we can put in you know gym cable uh, this one I think is pedals that one's got like aerosol cans or whatnot in it so it's sort of uh, sundries uh, so backup um, silicon sprays and contact cleaner uh, or just general oils and sprays and whatnot and greases in there a backup grease a backup tool tray for tools you don't use very often grinders and whatnot um, wire fittings as well so that's just a good way to set up your van so it's nice and neat and then strap everything down so it doesn't uh, with straps so it doesn't um, go anywhere and it's it's um, it's safe as well and that's that's a good way to set up a van thanks